think, um, you know, that's the biggest thing for me, just to, um, you know, know that I'm back with the organization that, you know, I love, um, a place I love living. Uh, you know, it, it couldn't have worked out any better. It's the ideal scenario, and I couldn't be happier with how everything played out. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to just getting the season going. But then, like you mentioned, just the, you know, um, the familiarity, securing something that's, that's longer term, um, that was the most important thing to me. What does it mean to you where there's a roster here with Kyrie and Kevin and, and so many talented, you know, young players on this roster as well? For you to be looked at is so valuable with general manager Sean Marks that he says over and over again uh, before this weekend, Joe Harris is a top priority. We know how this is a business. But what, does that, what does that mean to you when the, when the general manager is saying that? What does that say about your relationship? Uh, it means a lot, but I think, you know, a lot of that is just because of, you know, the familiarity. You know, I've been here for four years. Sean knows me, obviously, as a player, first and foremost, um, you know, what I'm able to do on the court. But aside from that, he knows the value that I bring outside of it. You know, it's the, the little things that I've kind of carried along with. It's what I talked about, um, you know, observing while I was in Cleveland, seeing guys get in early, seeing guys stay late, putting in all the extra work. Um, you know, all that stuff doesn't go unnoticed, especially when you're in a guy like Sean Marks' uh, position where he, he comes in too, he's in the same boat. He's trying to figure out how to make these pieces work with a young team, how to get to, to this point, you know? So I think it's sort of a collective thing where we've all sort of grown together and gotten to this point. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is, it is a huge honor and it is, um, you know, amazing just to see him uh, speak that way about you individually. But a lot of that is basically was what happened in the past and what continues to happen right now. Well, I know fans are excited and looking forward to seeing this team on the floor. For you, how much are you looking forward to seeing how all these pieces come together? We saw a small sample size with Kyrie. Everybody's excited about KD coming back and then the guys that are returning and the number of new faces too, Joe. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. And I think, you know, everybody has every reason to be excited as well. You know, you have two of the best players in the league um, you know, finally getting a chance to play together, finally be healthy. You know, that's the most important thing is that we finally have a healthy roster. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited uh, going into the season. Last thing for you, um, I, I'm, I'm sure the outpouring of support had to be overwhelming. I was seeing social media, former teammates of yours, giving you a big time shout out. What has it been like for you in the outpour of support from your current teammates and former teammates with you uh, getting your payday? Yeah, it means a lot. Again, it goes back to what we were initially talking about, just um, sort of that journey to earn the respect of, of everybody across the league. Um, that's really what it boils down to at the end of the day. And, you know, I've been fortunate to have a lot of great teammates um, here in Brooklyn and the guys that have been with you. Those are the ones that they, they see the work that you put in, you know, and I think anytime you're with guys or familiar with guys, you know, it means a little bit more when you kind of get to that point. So um, it is it's awesome, but it's sort of a testament just to the relationship at the end of the day. Your journey has been awesome to watch. Looking forward to seeing it continue. Thanks a lot, Joe. J.D. Grady, thank you.